All right, so we're going to try to prove this theorem about the mid-segments of a trapezoid uh, that we have in the book. Um, and so we are going to have to get the coordinates of the midpoints and then show that we have um, a parallel, that mn is parallel to our, our bases, and that it's half the sum of the distances. And so uh, we have to use slopes to show that things are parallel, so rise and run, and then our uh, distance is going to help us figure out the one half sum of the bases piece of this. So let's let's start at number one and get the midpoints. The way we get the midpoints is we add um, the the uh, x values, so 2d plus 2a, and divide it by 2. And then I add the y values. I add the y values of 2c plus 0 divided by 2. I'll use with d plus a and then c. Same thing on the other side. I take 2b plus 0, <coughs> which is just b, and then 2c plus 0, which is just c. And that allows me to, um, to figure out the midpoint. Now, if we look at this, I see I have the same y-coordinate, c and c. So I could already show that this is going to be uh, parallel because it's a horizontal line and the others are horizontal lines. But let's go through the mechanics of it. So I figure out my slopes, my rise and my run. And since it's the same y-value, 2c, 2c, the rise becomes 0. This one has a rise of 0 as well. That one has a rise of 0, so they are all parallel. So that's the first piece, that those lines, that mid-segment is a parallel line to the bases. Um, the next piece is to figure out the distance formula. So since things are horizontal, all we really need to do is subtract our x values. Um, since there's no change in y, it's just a change in x. And so our distance for ra just becomes 2d minus 2b. So that, again, are my x values there, uh, 2d minus 2b. And then for the next one, for mn, is d plus a uh, minus b. And then the last one, tp, is 2a minus 0, or just 2a. So if I take the sum of those, so I take the sum of ra and 2a, and then take half of that, that's this piece up here that we're working on, I see that I get a plus d minus b, which is the same thing as mn. So there is the proof for our theorem.